Welcome to our channel Electrical Guru Tamil. In this video we will see about basics of electronics and its application. If you are new to this video means please subscribe to our channel. Ok let us start our session. Don't skip the video watch it fully. The first one is electronics component. Lot of electronic components are available but these two are the very important. The first one is resistor and the another one is capacitor. First we will see about resistor. The resistor, what is resistor means? The resistors are used to limit the current in a circuit. So what is the purpose of resistor is? It resists the flow of current in a circuit. The second point used for driving circuit which requires low current. For example, we take on circuit, the maximum current capacity of the circuit is 2 amps. But we have a source of 5 ampere means what happens if a 5 ampere of current flowing through the 2 ampere circuit it will damage the circuit. To reduce the flow of current we use resistor. That resistor reduces the flow of current to the circuit. Okay. How it reduces the current means it liberates energy in the form of heat. It reduces the current and liberates that energy in the form of heat. Third point it is a two terminal non polarized component. It is a non polarized component. The what is non polarized component means we take one resistor, it is connected with a positive supply and a negative supply connected with the battery. It is first terminal and second terminal. The first terminal of the resistor is connected with the positive terminal of the battery and second terminal of resistor is connected with the negative terminal of the battery it will works in next i just reverse the connection second terminal first terminal the second terminal is connected with the positive and first terminal is connected with negative just i change the polarity of the resistor this resistor also works so only it is called as non polarized component otherwise it is called as a bipolar device Next one, the unit of resistance, we know that the unit of resistance is ohm. It is, the symbol of ohm is, this is the symbol for ohm. Next, ohm is a very very small unit. Then higher unit of ohm is kilo ohms. It is denoted by K. The kilo ohm is denoted as K, kilo ohms. And next one is mega ohms. The higher range of Kilo ohm is mega ohms. This is the circuit symbol of resistor. In circuit, we denote a resistor by using this symbol. Next, this will explain the working of resistor. Here, without resistor, the flow of current is large. The large amount of electron will flow through the conductor. Then, we apply the resistor. What happens means? See that when applying the resistor, it slows down the flow of electrons. So, the electron flow reduces means the flow of current also reduces. That is the basic principle of resistor. The next topic is physical appearance. This is the physical appearance of resistor. It contains two terminal. Already we told that it is a two terminal device. It contains four strip. Contain four strip. That is first digit, second digit, third one is a multiplier, fourth one is a percentage of tolerance. With the help of the strip only, we can find the resistance value. With the help of color code. This is the color code table. The colors available are black, brown, red, orange, yellow green blue violet gray white these are the colors available in our resistor the last two gold and silver are the tolerance value this is the fourth band we assume that so first band is brown means the value is one the second band is orange means the value is three if the third band is violet means the multiplication factor is into 10 power 7 we assume that if a resistance value is brown black red the first strip is brown means what is the value is one next one 
black that is zero second band is black that is zero the third band is red multiplication factor for red is 10 power 2 so if a resistor having a code of brown black red means that is a 1k resistor okay understand the students in our uh, tutorial session i will give lot of examples here i give one example that is brown black red the first strip is brown means the first band is 1 next black means second band is black so 0 third band red means 10 power 2 so the value is 1k resistor this is the practical use of resistor if we connect two resistors in parallel means it reduces the flow of current in the circuit now i explain briefly it contains two resistor r1 and r2 the value of uh, the value of r2 resistance is 8 ohm the value of r1 resistance is 2 ohms the current flowing through the circuit is 5 ampere Okay, the current flowing through the circuit is 5 ampere. The value of resistance R2 is 8 ohm. The value of resistance R1, R1 is 2 ohms. The current flowing, through the current flowing through the circuit is 5 ampere. So, if a, if a 5 ampere of current entering the circuit, always current prefers the low resistance path. Here, two resistance R1 and R2, as compared with, the, to, as compared with two resistance, R1 is the very, very low value so large amount of current will flow through the resistance r1 only a small amount of current will flow through the resistance r2 the next one is here to reduce the voltage we connect all the resistors in series here we have three resistors r1 r2 r3 all are connected in series in a, it can r1 contain 8 ohm resistor r2 contain 3 ohm R3 is 2 ohms. If a 5 ampere of current is flowing in the resistor means here in series circuit the current flow is same. The a current flowing through the R1 resistor is 5 ampere, R2 is 5 ampere and R3 is 5 ampere. But the voltage difference will depend upon the formula V is equal to I into R. We know that formula V is equal to I R depends upon the resistance value the voltage get varies. The next one important topic is a capacitor. Capacitor is a two terminal device which is, which is used to store charges. Okay. It is a capacitor is a electronic component which stores energy in the form of charges. The capacitance is the unit to measure the ability of storage of charges. If, if your capacitor contains large amount of capacitance means it will store it will store large amount of energy the unit of capacitance is farad 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 is the higher unit the lower unit is microfarad and the another one lower unit is picofarad uh, next one types of capacitor there are two type of capacitor polarized capacitor and non polarized capacitor we know that capacitor contain two terminal if it is a polarized capacitor means This is the diagram for polarized capacitor. It contains two leads. One lead is long and another one lead is very very short. If it is a polarized capacitor means the large terminal is connected with the positive terminal of the battery and the short terminal is connected with the negative terminal of the battery. Then only the capacitor will work or otherwise it will not work. So only it is called as polarized capacitor. Next one is non polarized capacitor it also contain two terminal we may connect either, either terminal with positive and either terminal with negative there is no problem with the non polarized capacitor it will work next practical use of capacitor the capacitors are used to making of timer circuit used in clippers clamper circuit used in dc filters and to produce large power as a flashlight in our flashlight we use capacitor to charge the uh, in flashlight we use capacitor to store energy and it produces a large amount of power in the flashlight then next topic is a electronic device 
In last few slides, we discussed about electronic components that are resistors and capacitor. Now we are going to discuss about electronic devices. The first one electronic devices is diode and the another one is transistor. There are large amount of electronic devices, diode, transistor and uh, IGBT, SCR, lot of electronic devices are there. Now we are going to discuss about the basic two devices that is diode and transistor. Now we discuss about diode. Diode. What is diode means? Diode is a two terminal device but current flow is in the only one direction that is called as diode. This is the symbol of diode. Diode contains two terminal one is anode and cathode. The third diagram will show the practical appearance of diode. Here the white color strip will give to identify the cathode terminal. So the white color strip gives the cathode terminal and the another one is a anode terminal. Next, already I told that diode is a electronic device which conduct electric current in only one direction. Here in one direction it will not conduct current, the bulb will not glow. But in another direction it conduct current, the bulb will glow. Okay? This is the practical example for diode. It is a electronic component, it conduct current in only one direction. Next, types of diode. LED, that is a light emitting diode. We are familiar with the LED. LED means if we give supply to the diode, it emit light. This is light emitting diode. Here, there is a two terminal, positive terminal and a negative terminal. If we give supply to the diode, uh, this uh, light emitting diode, it emit light. Depends upon the material we used in that diode, and the color of light will differs. It may be blue, white, red, green. Depends upon the material we used in that diode. Next one important topic is a photo diode. It is very very interesting. Here, if we pass a light onto this diode, it will generate electricity. Here, I will explain. We see that we have one bulb and the photo diode. It is connected with the emitter. If if we move the light towards the photo diode, large amount of light rays will fall on the diode, and there is a current flow in the emitter. We see that. If I move the light towards the photo diode, there is a large amount of current flow in the emitter. When I go bring back the lamp away from the photo diode, there is no current flow. So, what is photo diode means? The photo diode will produce electric current when a light falls on it. These are the practical use of diodes used for making gates. Gates means logic gates. With the help of these diodes, we can use logic gates like uh, AND gate, OR gate, NOR gate, NOT gate, etc. Used for making rectifiers. In upcoming session, we will discuss about rectifier. Rectifier is, it convert AC to DC. Next, it acts as a switch. Next, LED is used as an indicator. Photo diodes as a light director. Next one is a transistor. As like that of diodes, transistor is also a semiconducting device which is used to amplify the electronic signals. Mostly our transistors are used to amplify the electronic signals. This device contains three terminals. There are emitter, base and the collector. These are the three terminals of transistor this is our transistor it contains three terminal one is emitter base and collector this diagram will explain the working of transistor here it contains three channel that is base emitter and collector okay when we give a large when we give a current in the base it opens the 
collector terminal then current will flow from collector to emitter this will shown in your diagram here large amount of water flow from base it opens the collector so current water from collector flow towards emitter okay the circuit will show that when we close the switch the current will flow through the base then our collector from collector to emitter the large amount of current will flows okay next there are two type of transistor that is npn and pnp transistor this is npn transistor and this is pnp transistor how we classify these two npn and pnp transistor means in npn transistor the arrow mark in the emitter flow outwards so it is called as npn transistor in pnp transistor the arrow mark in the emitter flow towards the base so it is called as pnp transistor with the help of this arrow mark only we can classify npn and pnp this arrow mark shows the flow of current in npn transistor current flow from collector to emitter in a pnp transistor current flow from emitter to collector next npn transistor here the npn transistor will act as a straight switch what is straight switch means if we give supply to the base if we give a supply to the base the current will flow from emitter to collector and the switch is switch will on then if we didn't give any supply or we give a very large low voltage to the base it will open the emitter so there is no current flow from emitter to collector the switch is in off condition next one pnp transistor it is work as a inverter switch what is inverter switch means it is works uh, vice versa of npn transistor when we give a large amount of current or uh, large amount of voltage to the base it will not conduct so switch is in off condition but in npn transistor if we give large voltage to the base it will conduct current from emitter to collector but in pnp transistor if we give large low voltage to the base it will it will conduct current from emitter and collector this is the practical use of transistor the transistor will act as a switch and as an amplifier implementation of logic gates mainly it is used to amplify the electronic signal this is a circuit will explain the transistor as a switch reason that if we give supply to the base then it will conduct current from collector to emitter the led will close if we close the switch there is a large amount of voltage is applied to the base so the current will flow from collector to emitter so the led will close okay students i hope this session will useful for you if you have any clarification or any doubts please contact me through my mail id this is my mail id note it down if you have any doubt means just mail to me i will give a solution thank you students be safe be safe in your home good luck